Hey guys, what's up? Nick here once again. Today we're going to be doing a Sony Vegas tutorial on how to basically blur or pixelate a specific area on the video. Now this is mainly used if you're trying to blur out a person's face or maybe something on the screen that you really didn't want to be shown to the public without having you basically cut out an entire section of a video. So obviously this is a super important thing. And believe it or not, it's extremely easy. So we're gonna get right into it. I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who voted uh, on my poll here. We had a 21 uh, votes, which is way more than I even expected people to see. So thank you guys so much for voting for this. My next tutorial I'm gonna try to do on transitions, and then uh, I guess in the future from that I might hold some more more polls. So be on the lookout for any community posts that I put in here, because I'll, I'll probably have a lot of posts on polls and whatnot, and you guys can be a part of that for the future. So. But that being said, we're going to get right into it. So first thing we got to grab is a video clip or let's say your video clip. And let's say you got everything edited down to the way you want. And now you're just left with that one section that you want to pixelate. So what we're going to do first is we're going to import. I'm just going to import a random uh, video. Uh, I don't know. Just, these are all my reviews from the past. Just old stuff I've reviewed. Um, let's do this one. This Corsair unboxing. So once you got that imported, uh, you're gonna click and drag it down in your timeline like so and then we're gonna find the spot Let's say right here is where we want to pixelate the video to make it easier on ourselves We're gonna hit the S as in Sally key on your keyboard We're gonna split the clip right where you want to start and we're gonna go to where you want to end so let's say I don't know right here, right and we're gonna do the same thing S as in Sally on the keyboard And we're gonna split that clip and this is the area we're going to pixelate now the next part is the most important. We're gonna right click that new section that we just made and we're gonna hit copy. So right click when this pops up, go up to copy, there you go. And then down here in the empty section, we're gonna right click and go to insert video track. Now, as you can see, we got a brand new track above it. And what we're going to do is we're gonna right click and we're gonna paste. And then you can see it creates a brand new duplicate of that same spot that we cut out. Obviously this would be a little bit more tougher if we didn't split this before doing the copy and paste. So that's why I like to do this first. Next, what we're going to do is delete this extra audio track. So as you can see, we got one here and then one here. We don't need two. So we're gonna just straight up delete this entire track, this audio track. So we're gonna right click on it, delete track. There we go. And as you can see, now we just have the two clips above each other. Now, if we just were to play it, you're not gonna notice anything different. Windows 10, Windows 8 or 7, internet connection, it literally is the exact same. I'm actually gonna mute the sound just so you're not, I'm not being talked over, but it literally doesn't change anything as of right now. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to select the top part, the one that's uh, obviously not underneath. So the very top one that we just copied and pasted. And we're gonna go to the event pan slash crop window, click on that. And I'm just gonna resize this. So it's a little bit easier to see. All right, and once you get that open, it's gonna look like this. And the next part, we're gonna go down to mask, and you're gonna make sure that this is checked. If it's not checked, this is not gonna work. You can use your mouse uh, scroll wheel in order to zoom in and, and out here. And we're gonna go over to the tools here. We're gonna click on the anchor creation tool. And this essentially is where we're gonna draw what we're gonna uh, blur out. So let's say I wanted to blur out just this one part, the package and contents area. So we're gonna click and we're gonna create anchor points essentially around this area. Now you can make it a perfect square if you want, you can make it a perfect circle, whatever you want. This is as long as it comes back and connects to your very first point and you'll see it kind of goes gray around the area and that's what we're looking for. Next, uh, we're going to make sure that the feather type is set to both. It just looks the best and make sure your feather is at least three points. You can make it more or less depending on your, I guess the way you like it. And now the next thing is now, as you can see, at this point in the video is where it created uh, my first anchor point. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to delete the original because there's no uh, mask or anything. I'm just going to right click and delete that anchor point and then just drag this to the beginning. So there we go. So from the very beginning where that where the clip starts, we're going to have my uh, circle here. And now the next part is a little bit more of a tedious section, but it's it gets pretty easy once you've done it a couple times. We're going to scroll through. Not necessarily frame by frame, but when, once you start seeing stuff that you, that you, let's say this area here that I want to blur out, all of a sudden starts ending up outside of the circle. You obviously want to make sure the circle tracks that. So I'm just going to go through and make sure that this is staying inside my circle the entire time. And as you can see right there, it kind of moves up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to the part where it starts moving. 
So right there, I'm going to select uh, the arrow or the selection tool here, normal edit tool. And then we're going to start dragging this to cover the right area. And we're going to move our frame. So you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard or I'm just clicking and dragging. And we're just going to click and drag to keep with it. Move the frame again, click and drag, so on and so forth. It's pretty easy, it's pretty self-explanatory. And again, this becomes easier and easier the more you do it. And then what I do, instead of just deleting this, I'm just going to move it off frame. And you'll never know. Basically, the, the viewer would never know. But that's how it stays with it, right? And that's pretty much it. So we got that. That's the most important part. I'm going to click out of there. And now, as you can see, there's still nothing changed. Nothing looks any different. Next thing we're going to do is go up to Video Effects, or the Video Effects tab. And we're going to select basically what you'd want to do. Do you want to pixelate? Do you want to blur? defocus, whatever. I usually pixelate. I just think it looks the best. So I'm going to go to pixelate, which is what it's actually called anyway. And we're just going to do the default one. We're going to click and drag it down onto that top layer. Make sure it's the top, not the bottom. And you'll notice once we start moving these dials here, just keep an eye up here. All right. We'll start moving the horizontal. And we'll start moving the vertical. If you go too far, you'll see it. It's too blurry and it shows the underneath scene if you if you must but there we go look at that so i moved them pretty much almost to the end but not too far again if you go too far it's going to show through and you can just click out of there and now if we uh watch it back you'll see it's covered and it's pixelated and look at that and even when it moves up it follows i'm gonna go frame by frame here boom look at that easy as that that's literally all you have to do to pixelate a specific area on the screen if you don't want somebody to see it. I've used this technique for years on certain things, like especially when I'm doing phone reviews, I get text messages while recording, and instead of going back and re-recording the entire section, I just pixelate it in the aftermath so that, you know, you guys don't see it, don't, you don't text me or my friends or whatever, and I don't have to delete an entire section of my video. So yeah, that is pretty much it. That That's literally it. If you have any questions or anything that maybe I, I went through too fast or didn't make a whole lot of sense, please please comment below. I'll definitely get back to you as soon as I can. If you have any suggestions for future tutorials you'd like me to do for Sony Vegas, I love hearing feedback and hearing new ideas. So please let, them, let me know in the comment section below. Leave a like to show your support. As always, it does help a lot, guys. And subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss the next one and turn on that notification bell. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.